Good morning. So um, I um, I managed to uh, I last uh, two weeks ago I did this uh, recipe. It's a really nice recipe. I said I'd love to do it again because hi Connie. Um, because it was really nice. It it kept really well. It it was a lovely light sponge, um, traditional sort of sticky ginger cake really. Um, and it just it, it got eaten up everyone really enjoyed it so um, I'm going to do it again because um, I happen to have some it, the, the, the original recipe did say stem ginger so I've got some lovely stem ginger in syrup which we're going to put into the cake it's going to make it even nicer along with sultanas as well so yeah dead easy um, you're going to help me Connie yeah right so what I'd like you to do um, the oven's on the oven's preheating to 180 um, so into here, oh well, by the way, we've already um, Mommy, weighed out our, you can, you can stir it for me, you'll be fine, um, the same, I, can, I can help you, um, so into here I've got um, my flour, um, how much flour is it, 225, 225 grams of self-raising flour, um, half a, tea, uh, a teaspoon of bicarb, um, that makes it really nice and light. Um, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of brown ginger, and yeah, that's all my dried ingredients uh, gone in there. And I've put my butter in there. Um, um, how much butter is it? Oh, I use stalk margarine. 100 grams, not a lot, 100 grams, and I've just rubbed it in so it, be, it resembles kind of fine breadcrumbs. So that's, that's my dried. So now we're going to do this. So into here, is 100 grams each of syrup and black treacle. Look at that, Connie, look at those lovely colours. The golden and the black. So I'm just gonna pour this into my pan. Um, so what we want to do, we want to heat all of these ingredients. Is that the pan hot now? The pan's nice and hot, yes. We want to heat all the ingredients, warm them through. Um, that looks like chocolate to me. It's syrup. Syrup's lovely syrup, isn't it? I never had syrup. This that, no. this makes the cake really sticky. Is this is syrup that we use for our American pancakes. Um, it's it's the golden syrup. Yeah, because sometimes we use them for that, don't we? Mhm. Mm See, we're doing a we're doing a homeschooling home home economics lesson here. Yes, I know. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we're just warming this, warming this through. And it'll start to become quite sort of um, slack and uh, fluid, liquid, very liquidy. So into here, and you pour Can my I sugar. Stare it? You pour my sugar. That's ah. it. Pour the sugar. Okay. So this but is brown, all of it. Yeah, all of it. Brown sugar, hundred grams. And give it a stir, just be careful when you're stirring it, good girl. And I'm gonna quite sit like that. Can you add that please? This is our stem ginger, 50 grams. We've we've got some of the syrup as well in that. Um, so that's all going in. Lovely. So what we want to do, we want to warm this through. What about the milk? Not yet. You can do the milk in a minute. And you can crack the eggs. After. Are you going to crunch it? Like the sugar? So all we're doing, this is our, we're dissolving our sugar into our syrup. So you don't get the grains. You no longer get like the, the gritty, the gritty stuff, which is what you don't, it makes a smoother cake. got um, our lined square tin ready Wait, to go. Can I stir? Yeah, give it a stir. Keep stirring. Good girl. It's like it's going to get like really melted. Hopefully. Okay. I can feel the heat on so, my yeah, hands. So yeah, this is this is a really easy recipe. Um, we're going to add the eggs to this once it's finished warming through. Can I do one, mm -hmm. one of the eggs? How much yeah. eggs do we have to do? Two eggs. Okay. We've got plenty of eggs, luckily. I thought Sharon said she would give us some eggs because she doesn't really cook much. Well, she said. 
We haven't needed to ask her, have we? Yeah. We've managed. They might need them for something like this. is going to be coming quite nice and hot. Mm, lovely. Does it look nice? What do you think? Well, we haven't put them in yet. I think they make them nice, don't you? Well, whenever I have few. a brownie and we put nuts in it, I like pick them out. Should we put the sultanas in here? Anyway, that was some yummy. Put the sultanas in here. You don't, you don't have to have sultanas. I just think it makes it more stickier. It just gives it a nice texture, doesn't it? With the ginger, is it a really nice texture? So the recipe says bring it to the boil, but I don't know if it's necessary to bring it to the boil. Um, I just think you want to dissolve all of the sugar, really, which is what we're doing here. I'm going to add it to the dried ingredients in a bit. Coming nicely, it's coming to the boil. There we go. Doing sort of lovely. We've got all the syrup, the treacle, the sugar, we've got the stem ginger, and we've got the sultanas. It's quite nice putting the sultanas in at this stage because they become more, um, I think they become, with the liquid, they become more plump. So, yeah, that stays there. So we make, so we put that to that. So, um, what we need to do now, can you add the milk for me? Turn this off the heat now. Add the milk. Mm. It's okay. I'll do that. Come this way. Come this way. You add the milk. Put it, put it all in there. Good girl. All of That's it. Yeah, all of it. Yeah. Yummy. This is whole milk. It says semi skin, but you can use whatever you've got. Um, can we crack some eggs? I'll do this one. Do the other one. Well done. Good girl. Last Good egg time cracking. I tried to do an egg, it, it failed. Well, practice makes perfect, Connie. Right, so that's it. That's all of our liquid um, going into our dried. So, should we pour all that in now? No, no, that goes in here. Ah. Look, that goes in here. This in the stand mixer, or you can do this just by hand, mixing mix all the them. dried with the. Now, should we put it through the stand mixer? It'd be easier, I think. We've already got it attached. We might as well just blend it. Together. Can I turn it on? Um, can I turn it on? Yeah, turn it on, but only on a slow speed to begin with. She likes doing this bit. Slow speed. That's it. Because otherwise it will splash everywhere. There's a good girl. Okay, that's just going to blend it all nicely together. That's lovely. Don't need to over mix, just need to blend it. It's nice and smooth. That's it, good girl. Right, so now we that are ready. Like the ginger cake. Yeah, it's that amazing. Look at this. So this is amazing, this lovely, lovely batter. Makes quite a liquidy batter making sure all those dried ingredients are incorporated in. Ah, it's, Fold. it's okay, it's fine, we can clear it. Right, so now we're going to transfer this to a pan. It's gonna take 40, 40, oh, oh, yes, in the yeah, garden. Okay. 40 minutes uh, in a 180 oven, and it's gonna be lovely. So this is our sticky ginger cake. Okay, give it a go.